It's Lent, so it's time for us to get fit for the kingdom. First, first training. Are you ready to lift? Yeah. 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 Are you ready to lift? Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, hi, man. Nick Brilla, what are you doing? Those are not the lifts I'm talking about. No. Are you ready to lift your heart and your mind to God? I think so. Are you ready to lift your heart and your mind to God? Of course. Then follow me. Ready? What is this called? A lunge? No, you're genuflecting. Oh. And you do the sign of the cross. Correct form? In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. All right? Again, genuflection. Of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And who are we genuflecting to? Jesus and the Blessed Sacrament. It was good. We were close. All right? Because in Lent, we're called to pray more. And how can we pray? One of the ways is by visiting the Lord in the chapel. We have the opportunity to adore the Lord very often in Eucharistic adoration which in the monstrance the Lord is raised up for us, and then we are blessed with him. You can also lift your heart and your mind to God, right, by saying simple prayers throughout the day. Three Hail Marys. You can do that at the end of each day. You can also say the rosary. Everybody have rosary beads in your house? Yes. You can say rosary beads. This is another way to lift your heart and your mind to God. And you're able to offer those prayers. All these little ways in coming to Mass, these are ways that we lift our heart and our mind to God and we get spiritually strong and we can be fit for the kingdom. Do you want to be fit for the kingdom? Yeah, we're yeah. going to be fit. All right, let's keep lifting. Ready? Again. Father, I'd like to do one of these at the end. Can I do that? Sure. <laughs> Some extra calories. 